to support the Great Plains Black History Museum in their efforts to educate and show us some of this Omaha history that's forgotten. Noble Johnson and George jo Johnson, a uh, couple of postal workers from right here in Omaha, who were actors, uh, helped to start the Lincoln Film Company, first black-owned film company in the United States, maybe in the world, but in the United States. What drew me to this especially, though, was that George Johnson is a character that we've seen dozens of times in black and white movies, whether he was the mean black man, whether he was a Frankenstein, whether he was the big Indian, Native American, um, absolutely super influential to the black and white film progression that happened during the early part of the century. And he's right here from Omaha, Nebraska, and we don't know this. And we don't know this. One of the greatest actors in black and white film history. And we don't know this. And I love this picture. <laughs> Sorry. I, I adore it. I adore it. <laughs> no, I wasn't. And I'm a black history buff. I consider myself a professional amateur. <laughs> And there are a lot of pictures here and a lot of exhibits that I just had no idea about, even though pictures of the Bertha Calloway from way back in the days, um, the Omaha Star. And when you're talking about the beginning of that, I want to say the Omaha Star, was that 1938? Um, it wasn't too much earlier than that, and, but the influence that that uh, newspaper has had on our community Looking at the mortuary and the big buildings that were right here on 24th and Lake Street, right here in our North Omaha community. And for some reason, all of this is lost to history. And I think if we want to change, I don't want to say change things, but if we want to recognize and develop who we are, we definitely have to recognize and develop what we've made this city into. And it's just beautiful. And I don't know what else to say. And as far as Mr. Beatty goes, the director, he's had my heart since I was. You know, let me tell you, going <laughs> in, I've known this young man for many, many years, and how he has grown and developed. Uh, I didn't realize until uh, maybe a year ago of his involvement and um, love of uh, Black history. I mean, I know he was a scholar, but I just didn't know he was as, 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 as deep as as uh, Lauren is. So I've actually attended uh, one of his lectures out at UNO uh, when he uh, spoke to a uh, black studies uh, class on the lynching of Willie Brown in, uh, in 1919. And he did a marvelous job. It was so good. I sat through two of his classes. So I love you, so <laughs> I love you too. But he, he's done a good job. And he he. He represents to me the the kind of, of 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 love and passion that we want to bring out in others when we bring the collection out, when we make the museum known. That passion is latent in other people as well too. We want to bring that out. So I thank you, Lauren. Don't thank me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. My okay. pleasure.